Sun Jian will take the lead. And Yuan Shu shall provide support. We leave before daybreak. Generals, good fortune in battle. Lord Yuan Chu, I am counting on you. Farewell. Common swine. You won't be so smug for long. Alright, so I'm going to go right into the Bao Hulao Gate and then uh, take it from there. So, here we go. And uh, this time around, I'm going to go and play as Yuan Shao. And, uh, I'm going to stick with the default, so here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon. We have a maxed out Sword of Honor. The items, I'll leave it as is. The bodyguards are at 8. The objectives. We have to defeat Dong Zhuo, have him retreat. And we can't allow myself to fall or have the time run out. Unit info. For the allied forces, you have Yuan Shao, Yang Liang, and Wen Cho. Wan Shu, Gan Sun San, Zhao Zhao and Zhao Dun, Sun Jian and Da Xiao, Liu Bei and Zhao Yun. With Dong Zhuo's forces, you have Dong Zhuo, Nao Fu, Fan Chou and Wang Fang, Li Ru and Shu Rong, Li Jue and Jia Xu, Wu Se and Li Meng, Diao Chen, Dong Min, and Gao Xun. Alright, so let's do it. In the same concept, shoot ton of KOs, shoot ton of points, and take our sweet ass time doing it. However, for this stage, I am not entirely sure or positive that I will be able to hit that over 20 minute mark. But I know in the next act, in the final act, I'll be perfectly fine. So, if I can't do it here, I know I'll get the Battle of Guandu and the campaign against Sun Jian. So, we'll go for Li Meng first. Without getting hit by one of those. And there's Wil Su as well. Alright, Lee Mong is down. And Wolf Se is down. So, so far so good. Alright, now we're going to go down and uh, defeat Shu Rong and Li Ru. And then uh, once we do that, we'll head up and uh, defeat Dong Min and uh, Gao Xun. But, you know, one step at a time. So, Li Ru and Shu Rong first. In the meantime, the Ram will take down Hu Lao Gate, as you all know. But in the process, we'll open this gate. I'll knock him off his horse, and then, there we go. Th that was a cheap shot. There we go. I'm gonna try to defeat everybody here. Yeah, nice try. Shu Rong and Li Ru are both down. Now we'll head up and defeat the other two, and then we'll take it from there. But the uh, Ram should be knocking down Hu Lao Gate any second now. And then obviously Lu Bu will be there. We'll face Lu Bu. We're not going to duel him, because if we duel him, I know for the fact that I'll make it a draw. So, we'll just face him head on. And you already know about that glitch, which is why I'm not going to be dueling him. Alright, 
Gao Shun is down, now Dong Min. And note, if you wanted to play this in free mode, or if you're starting a new file, then Zhang Liao will be here instead of Dong Min. So, if you really want to face Zhang Liao on the stage, then you want to play this in free mode. I mean, the only real difference is you're facing Zhang Liao and more weapon experience. I mean, unless you're playing this under Yuan Shao's Musun mode, then that's a different story. Is that who I think it is? It's Sufu! Sufu come to destroy us! But, um, I know for a fact that... Oh, well, not for a fact, but... It's very hard to have Zhang Liao in this stage in Yuan Shao's Musun mode because you will probably have uh, Zhang Liao unlocked by then. We must not fall Whether you unlock him by playing the Bao Si Shui Gate, defeating him there, or unlocking him when you complete the way Musumo completed a set act. So, either way, you're going to get him. So, anyway, enough of me rambling about that. I'm just going to. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll head inside. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll defeat some troops. I don't mind killing a little bit of time. Um, I might not wait it out for uh, Dong Zhuo to uh, order his entire army to attack, um, but I will do my best to hold out as long as I can. That is actually kind of uh, attainable, but like I said, I'm not going to guarantee it. I'd rather just complete the stage like I usually do and not hold out for that uh, little uh, thing to occur because uh, if you wait out for a set period of time Dong Zhu will have his entire army attack you thus if you do this you don't have to worry about Dong Zhu retreating at all um, here comes Lu Bu which I will skip the duel you dare face the mighty Lu Bu. Because as you know, if you challenge Lubu and it's a draw, then you will lose your uh, item stats for uh, the Tiger Amulet and the Taurus Amulet, and I can't afford that. And for the fact that he struck one hit on that Musu attack, I know I won't have a problem facing Lubu here. So as I was saying, yeah, so I think you have to wait out like 10 minutes after Ubu appears, or just 10 or 15 minutes of the initial stage, then he will launch out the attack. But on the downside of Dong Zhuo not retreating, you're going to have to deal with pretty much every single one of his units having max morale. So it's up to you whether or not you want to do that. Yeah, if a true Musu is like that, then that's bad. There we go. And even that, how interesting. But uh, I don't have to worry about that as much, really. I mean, like I said, I'm probably just going to do it the normal way, or the way I've been doing it just this entire time. Plus, I did skip the battle each week gate, so... Wash Young will automatically appear here, and I could actually get a couple more KOs. Um, I probably won't need these, but I'm just going to grab them anyway, just in case. And I definitely want to grab that. Because as you all know, if you equip the Shadow Harness, but then find a red hair, you'll have the effects of the Shadow Harness on the red hair. Because it'll affect any harness that you mount. It doesn't matter if it's a faster horse, slower horse, or even an elephant. So, that will help big time. Um, anyway, now I'll face the Ao Chan. Since I've actually skipped the duel with Lu Bu, I have a feeling I will be dueling the Ao Chan. Or not. That's fine. Find me. And the Ao Chan is down. Again. All right, 
Alright, so I'm gonna bolt inside and defeat Wong Pong as fast as possible. At this point, I have no need of Nuo Yang. And keep the invaders out. And while that happens, I'll defeat Wong Fong, I'll defeat Xia Xu, then Li Jui, go inside and defeat Fan Cho, then defeat Dong Zhuo. As long as my dream comes to fruition, I can sacrifice a capital city, or two, or three. I know my KO count is going to be a little bit lower, but I should be fine regardless because um, I got close to 600 KOs. In the Yellow Turban Menace, and then over 600 in the Yellow Turban Fortress. So, as long as I hit 200, I'll be fine. Alright, Wong Fong is down. Now I'll head up and defeat Jia Shu. Then we'll head for Li Jue. And I just want to hit 200 KOs, that's all I care about. And as I said, if you actually skip the Battle of Si Shui Gate, Wang Xiang will appear here instead. Also, if I'm not mistaken, if you play the Battle of Si Shui Gate and complete the stage without defeating Wang Xiang, then he'll also appear here as well. But um, anyway, we defeated Jiashu. Now we're headed for uh, Li Jue. And there goes Li Jue. Alright, now I'll head up the Fi Fan Show, then we'll head for Dong Zhuo. We'll face Dong Zhuo, then finish the stage off. Alright, there's Fan Show. I'm pretty sure my bodyguard is going to fall, but that's fine. That doesn't surprise me one bit that he blocked it up like a fucking fortress, but... That nearly finished him off. Really? Alright, he's down. Now head over and defeat Dong Zhuo. Well, there goes Yang Liang. And there goes Wen Cho. Oh, he's not gonna have a chance to retreat. And Dong Zhuo's down. And that's a win. All right. So that's another stage down, and uh, as I said, I'm not worried about the time for this stage, just for the fact that I still have two more acts, and I really want to get those two uh, uh, what's it called? I'll get those two uh, stages above that 20 minute walk and then some. So, I'll be fine. Anyway, we completed the stage in 10 minutes and 37 seconds, like I said, not the over 20 minute mark that I want, but I was expecting it. Um, if I held out and, you know, did what I have done once before, 
and had Dong Zhuo pretty much leading his army to attack uh, the Allied forces. Then I know for a fact I would hit 20, uh, probably more than 20 minutes, but still, I didn't want to wait it out if I really didn't need to. And um, it's very difficult to, well, I am playing as you want to shout, so I don't have to worry about it as much. But still, it is difficult trying to get through the entire stage after that, especially if I am keeping Lubu alive the entire time. So, anyway, items I doubt I get anything or anything at all. Our KO count is 217. Uh, our worthy opponent count is 13. The only uh, officers, generals that we didn't defeat are Niall Fu, um, Hua Xiong, Hu Zhen, and Xiao Sen. But we're still going to have a lot of points. Um, we'll probably be around 8,000 points. We're close to it anyway. Okay, 8,235 points. But it really doesn't matter because uh, Yuan Xiao's rank is at max. And um, I think the highest amount of points you could get is 99,999 so it is irrelevant and the only real stats I need to increase is this well you want Shao's uh, defense so I'm pretty sure because I am grinding uh, the stats of other characters already and I'm not even near this mark and the only reason why I'm probably at this mark is for the fact that I'm playing you want Shao's Musa mode and it's only really three characters I could play as one more if I actually create more characters, but when it comes to actual, you know, characters, you know, minus the edits, there's only two characters I can play as. You want Xiao and Zheng He. So, anyway, weapon experience doesn't matter. The bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. We will save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4, and I will see you in the next part where we will take on the next act, which is only one stage, as you know, the Battle of Wandu. So, peace out.